Recently, there are a lot of new exciting developments going on in the artificial intelligence industry, or most well known as AI. Some of you might heard of ChatGPT from Elon Musk OpenAI. It is basically a dialogue-based AI where you can actually talk to the AI like how you talk to a human being. For example, you can tell it to write a 500 word essay about human rights and you can generate an original and high quality 500 word essay within just a few minutes. And the even mind blowing function to me is that it can generate actual codes. Like I use it to generate a website containing just a big red subscribe button and it needs to link to a web page. So because of this, I want to learn what all the hype is about, whether I can create the next Jarvis. Whether is it hard or easy for me to get into artificial intelligence with little coding and statistics knowledge. To start off, I did some research to get a basic overview on the artificial intelligence slash machine learning field. Coincidentally, I found a free course in a website called SkillUp, which have provided me with all the basic knowledge of machine learning and artificial intelligence. I completed everything in like two hours in two days. And as a bonus, they also gave me a certificate. But do keep in mind that those are just lecture kind videos, which means there are no practical um, assignments. I feel like to learn something, you need to actually apply the knowledge that you have learned. So basically through coding practical tasks and doing different projects. Therefore, I went back to YouTube to search for some free machine learning courses. And then I found this course from Sendex, which has a lot of great reviews from the looks of it. He is teaching us machine learning algorithms through Python coding, which I think it is really practical and really useful for a lot of people and to get that theory and understanding right on that mark. But after just doing it for around two hours, I felt a bit bored and I want to do something more interesting. This is the time when I found Nicholas Raynet, a YouTuber who produces long hour courses on machine learning and he guides you through different projects. Like this one video about Super Mario and reinforcement learning. Basically, you teach the AI to play Super Mario through trial and error. I'm going to explain this as best as I can. So by trial and error, if the AI does a good move, it will get rewarded in points and if the AI does a bad move, it will minus points. So the AI will try to follow and get more points as possible. This is called reinforcement learning. If you look at other AI YouTubers, they mostly also use this reinforcement learning to train their AIs, which is really interesting to see how they actually learn. We mainly use Python to program the AI and the software we'll be using is Jupyter Notebook. I basically just follow along copying whatever Nicholas Reynolds do in his video. It is easier for you to understand what he is doing if you have basic coding knowledge. And as usual in life, nothing goes smoothly. I got hit by a ton of a ton of a ton of errors. All this happened because there's a lot of dependencies slash packages that you have to install in your Python coding software. And many computers have different requirements. So we have all different problems. Honestly, it's pretty discouraging to have so many issues just to get my foot onto the door, but I never ever give up. I kept trying and trying to install and uninstall different softwares, searching Google to look for help and debugging tips. And finally, I got it to work. And after that initial phase, everything just went smoothly. The AI, you see this? It means that the AI is actually learning right now. You can see my Mario is actually running and playing the game right now automatically without me touching anything. So in my understanding, the more you train it means the more steps you train it, the better the AI will get. So right now, as you can see, it is stuck on the second pipe. So it can't jump over the second pipe, meaning it is not really optimized yet. Unfortunately, I couldn't train the Mario AI to complete the whole level since it takes too much time and too much storage space that my computer can't handle. According to Nicholas himself, if you train up to 4 million steps, it can pass a whole level. Then I went and found his most popular video, which is the object detection course. 
It looks really straightforward and intuitive for me to understand. It basically uses AI to detect and recognize objects from your video. I learned that 90% of machine learning is all about collecting good data, whether it is pre-processing the data or in my case, collecting images. Here you can see that I'm manually labeling the images so that the AI can learn what to detect more easily. I faced the same installation issues at the beginning of this project as well. There are many, I mean a lot of packages and different libraries that is needed to be installed to train the artificial intelligence. But damn, I didn't know there's such heavy usage in external open source packages. I feel like I spend most of the time learning what these packages actually do. I had to do a bunch of trial and errors, downgrading a bunch of packages from TensorFlow till the correct version where everything is compatible. It is a headache but well worth the hassle. I really like the object detection course even though I don't do a lot of coding, I at least learn about the different steps and process. Nicholas Reynolds courses are more to applying machine learning algorithms to different projects, which is good if you want a good intuitive understanding on how people actually do this kind of stuff in real projects. So this video is a checkpoint. As you know, machine learning and artificial intelligence is very wide, very big. It is very difficult to actually learn and master. It comes through time. So even though I can't code all this, I at least know the process behind applying all these machine learning algorithms and through time, I will get to experience more projects and this is definitely not the end of it. I will definitely use more machine learning with my Arduino and stuff like that to make interesting projects. If you find this video valuable, make sure to give a thumbs up and subscribe if you want more video like this. If you have any questions, feel free to message me on Instagram or comment down below and we can answer it for you. If not, I'll see you in the next video. Budget Zero, peace out.